Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C Programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna tell you about break statement in C. Break statement is used in two purposes. First one is come out of the loop immediately. Another one is terminate the case condition in switch. Here we see how break statement is used in a program and what happen when we use it. So let's see a programming example. Here we use a while loop. You know to design a while loop we need a variable. So first declare a variable integer x and then assign a value to this variable x equal to 1. And now write the while loop while a pair of parentheses and a pair of curly braces. Within the parentheses write the condition that is x less equal to 10 and inside the curly braces we print the value of the variable x. So write here printf percentage d slash n x and then increment x that is x plus plus. After the while loop I am gonna write another printf function. So write here printf and inside the printf function I would like to write here after the while loop. Let's see the output. Compile it and run it. You can see here it print the number from 1 to 10 and the statement after the while loop. The reason is that here I assign x equal to 1 and check the condition x less equal to 10. So the loop execute 10 times and print the number from 1 to 10. When the value of the x becomes 11 the condition is false and it come out of the loop and execute the statement immediately after the while loop. So it print this statement and then this statement. That's why it print the statement after the while loop. Here I test the condition x less equal to 10. When this condition is false, the loop terminate. This is a normal procedure. But sometimes we need to terminate the loop before complete execution. To do this, we use the break statement. Suppose I want to print the number from 1 to 5 and then come out of the loop. To do this, we use an if statement inside the while loop. So write here an if statement, if a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces. Here I want to print the number from 1 to 5. So when the value of x will be 6, it come out of the loop. So here I check the condition if x equal to equal to 6. If so, then it break out of the loop. So write here break statement. Here the loop first execute 5 times and print the number from 1 to 5. And then the value of x increment to 6. And then check the condition x less equal to 10. Yes, it is true. Then entered into the loop. And then execute this statement x equal to equal to 6. Yes, it is true. And then execute the break statement. When execute the break statement, the control come out of this loop and execute the statement after the while loop. So it print this statement. Now check the output, compile it and run it. You can see here it print the number from 1 to 5 and then print the statement after the while loop. You can use break statement inside the for loop and do while loop also. Another important property I must say for example there are two loops one inside another or we can say two nesting loops are available and a break statement is used inside the inner loops. When break statement is execute control come out of the inner loop only but it continues to execute the outer loop for next iteration. That's all. Hope you understand. Next tutorial we discuss continuous statement. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel.